Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another video. So of course, Act 3 and 4 are over, so I must review them. So today, as always, we're going to be going through the latest two acts, talking about the stuff that we got in the prize track, briefly talking about the premium content we got, and then kind of give my overall thoughts on both acts, and then also maybe decide which act I prefer overall, like out of the two, and then also overall. So I just want to quickly make a note, the Gills deal with Andre and Heaven, that does not count because technically it's a Gills deal, so it doesn't really count as Act 4. I don't know, I normally don't count Gills deals as Act 4 premium, unless like it's like limited to that Act. So I know that this one's technically limited, I, I know it's a bit tricky, but I'm not going to count it. So we're going to get into the first of Act, the first Act, which is Act 3 of course. Uh, we're going to look at that, and that one is, of course, called Tire Fire and Brimstone. So, Tire Fire and Brimstone. So, of course, there was five prizes to be won in this one, which is very cool. I like the fact that there is five new things to be won. We obviously have Moses as the first character, first thing to unlock, which is the character for the act. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, overall, I think he's okay. People have pointed out his weird little, the way he walks around the town, it's a bit weird. I admit that, but I don't think it's terrible. I think it's fine. Like, it doesn't bother, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, it doesn't bother me at all, really. So, there's no point me, uh, me just you know, copying people's, people's opinions. But yeah, I think he's fine. He's a fine character. Nothing amazing, but nothing, nothing bad. And then, next up is the Rapping Rabbis. I think these guys should have been made a character. A lot of people kind of brought this up, and I kind of agree. There, and there's enough there to make them a character. I think. Whereas, like, if you compare it to something like the Movementarian crowd or the even the Flanders family, right? So the issue, the issue I have with the Rap and Rabbis being the a decoration instead of a character is there is a, there is a character there right they're not just random npcs whereas like the movementarians they were just random npcs they were the guys who appeared in the simpsons house to like take it over if they made glenn and jane npcs not npcs made glenn and jane uh decorations i'd be mad but they haven't yet glenn and jane just weren't added but in terms of the rap and rabbis i think they're kind of bad i'm gonna be honest i think they should have been characters instead i'm a bit disappointed that they're now decorations in the game then we have the orthodox ambulance i like this one overall not got much more to say um yeah it's a good decoration i think when you click it it kind of lights up so yeah overall cool the uh menorah menorah is that how you say it? menorah pile uh it's a bit crummy i'm not gonna lie it, it looks very 2d <laughs> i don't know it's fine though i don't hate it i just don't particularly love it and then we have the Burns Cult Headquarters as the final prize. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not impressed by this. Because honestly, it really just could have been a skin for the nuclear power plant uh, control center. Plus, we've already got the uh, the new god Mr. Burns statue in the game. And they look like it's the same thing, it's the same decoration. So if you look at the cult headquarters, there's those two statues in front of it. Well we already have one of the statues. It was added in the previous it was added in a previous update. So I don't know why we've now got you know, I don't understand why they didn't just add it as a skin for the control center. I guess maybe they wanted more buildings, but it feels a bit like a rehash, so I don't really like this one, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think it was worth it as the final prize for sure. Yeah, I, I think the fact that if we didn't have the statue, I may have been... If we didn't already have the statue in the game, I may have given this building a bit more leeway and said, eh, whatever, it's kind of cool. It maybe should have been a skin, but whatever. But, yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a skin. It should be a skin for a building we already have in the game. And then on top of that, we already have part of this building in the game as a, as a decoration. So, yeah, I don't like this building overall, I'll be honest. Anyway, that's Act uh, 3. Overall, I think it was very meh i mean there's some good things in there i think the orthodox ambulance and moses for me at least they those two are good all the rest is either meh or bad so let's move on to act four act three premium we have obviously king herod with the citadel or herod citadel i think overall i'm uh, i kind of say this is bad i think this probably could have been a costume i understand why it's a character I get the argument for it being a character, but the main reason why I think it probably should be a costume is because 
Yeah, I know it's tricky. It's really it's really weird, right? So when there's like a character, we don't know the name of said character. So say if it's like a Halloween special, right? Then I think it makes sense for that to be a costume. But when it's so, for example, Witch Marge, right? That makes sense as a costume because how are you going to make that a character? But with this, I'm like a little iffy on it because at one stage, I'm like, yeah, maybe it should be a, a character. Maybe it should be a costume. I, I mean, I'm, I'm like a little iffy on it, but... It's kind of annoying to have another Mr. Burns lookalike, I'll be honest. Uh, although the Herod Citadel, I think, is, is an awesome building. So, overall, I'm going to say that I'm very meh about this. So, Act 4, Stupid versus Sexy. We have, obviously, five prizes again, which is very awesome. So, it starts off with the Xmas Trees lot as a decoration. <sighs> I, I'm sick of these Xmas Tree lots, I'll be honest. I'm, like, I'm so sick of them, but I know how many of them have appeared in the show, so I can understand why they... Have keep adding them. It's partly the show's fault, but at the same time, I don't have to give it. You know, I can still be critical of them. We we have too many of these tree lots. <laughs> there is too many of them. I know there's more to add. Uh, so, yeah, at least it's not a building. Uh, I think it makes sense it being a decoration, whatever. But actually, mm -hmm, maybe it could have been a building. Uh, no, maybe not. I don't think there's enough there. But yeah, whatever. It's a fine decoration. Um, it's not. <laughs> It's not really fine. We've got too many of them. But, I, I, yeah, I, I don't like it. I, I, I'm going to give it a thumbs down, basically. And anyway, anyway, then we have the Christmas Ignores United Billboard. Ignorers, sorry. Pr Christmas Ignorers United Billboard. Uh, yeah, this one's fine. Not bad, not good. I think it's fine. Then we have Sexy Santa Marge. I think this costume, for me, is... I, I want to say I want to say, meh, but honestly I don't like it at all. It's, it's just nothing interesting. I think at least it's got it's got two fine animations I guess, and then the I think there's one's like wrapping up isn't it, and then the other's like hiding behind that little plant. I think the hiding behind the plant one's fine, uh, and then the actual costume has voice as well, has unique voice, which is very pretty cool. Yeah, but I mean there's it's there's nothing that interesting about it, so I don't think it's a great costume at all. I'm just gonna say meh for now. I think meh to bad is is where it's at. I don't think it's it's good basically. But then it's not terrible. It's not the, it's not like the worst costume we've ever got. It, it does have some co cool things going for it. Then we have the sea captain sleigh. I'm very disappointed. There's no animation for the sea captain, or at least I don't think there is. I, I look, I clicked on him, and there's no animation there. So I don't know maybe if there's a task I missed, but I'm pretty sure there isn't an animation for him. That's really disappointing. But the actual decoration itself is is fine. It's cool enough. Uh, it's cool that we're getting all those sleighs. And then the final prize is Toy Town. I like this building. I like it a lot. I think it's pretty nice. Looks pretty cool. You know, it's very bright, very colourful. Obviously, makes sense because it's a toy shop or well, Toy Town. Yeah, overall, I like that one. So yeah, that is Act Four. Overall, it's it's a there's some okay things in there. I think the Toy Town's good. The Cap Sea Captain Slay is good, although it, I wish they had an animation included with it. And Sexy Santa Marge is is you know meh at least. So there's some stuff in there. Yahweh with the Jewish Walk of Fame was of course the premium item for Act Four. Okay, here are my opinions on this. Now, I think this this is a really tricky item to rate. And the reason why I'm having a real hard time of, of where I, like, sort of put this on my scale of characters is this. So, yes, it's very tedious to get those seven donuts. That is true. The whole step one, step, you know, doing ste seven steps to get to the final task, the final 24-hour task to get the donuts is very tedious and very annoying. But at the same time... It's the only character in the game that earns donuts. And it wasn't like the price for him was that ridiculous. It was... How much was it again? Uh, 250 It's not too bad. It's a bit pricey. It's But it's, it's not terrible. I think, for the most part, this item is good. If I had to choose between good or bad, if I had a gun to my head and I was told, you have to choose good or bad, I would choose good. Now, that being said... It's not great. It's very tedious to get the, the the item, to get the donuts. But, yeah, I don't know. It, but then, 
at the same time you're getting donuts. I this is my this is my dilemma with this item. I don't, I think it could have been better. I would it would have been far better if it was just one 24 hour task or hell, you know, isn't it like four times? Isn't it four six times tasks and then a 24 hour? So if we do like four times, uh, hang on, four times six. So tw yeah, yeah, 24. So if we did like 24, so 24 hours is two. It's basically a 48 hour thing. So if they had a 48 hour task for God, uh, for, for Yahweh, sorry, that was to earn donuts, I think that would have been a far better way to do it. I would have still, I probably would have preferred it if they did it that way. But technically, what you're doing is a, it's a, you know, it's a 48 hour task essentially. But you've got to log on and, and do it every so often. So. I think tedious wise, yes, it's annoying, but I think for the most part, personally, I think this item is good. I think it could have been better, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's the worst character ever. Like, I, I, I don't think it's like a, the worst character of the year by any means. It's got a really, really cool feature, and it's really hard to put any other character above this character just for the sole purpose of, yes, it is tedious, yes, it takes a while, but this character earns donuts, donuts. So, yeah, that is my convoluted, tedious argument. Yes, it's tedious, but it earns donuts. So I think for the most part, it's a good character. Overall, I think the one I prefer the most is probably Act Three, but not by much. I just think the ambulance kind of outdoes both the United Billboard and the Sea Captain Slayer. My just, just in my opinion, I just I'm gonna. It's gonna be easier for me to decorate that. Plus the Christmas tree lot is not great, great, and I don't know. I don't really know. It's tricky to really pick one because they're both kind of bad. <laughs> the both both acts are kind of bad. Maybe Act Four is better. Who knows? I can't even be bothered deciding which act was the best overall. Huh? Good one. I think maybe this is trippy too. I don't know. I guess Act Three, but even that wasn't great. Yeah, I, honestly, I don't think this event was too great. I think. Um, there's some good things in this event, don't get me wrong. The fact that they, with the whole, the, the mystery box things, with the, the, the daily challenges, the, what's it, Santa's workshop tokens, those things were cool. The fact that we've got five prizes for the uh, for the for the prize track is awesome, apart from Act 2 with the spaceship returning. But, like, that's really awesome. I really like that. <sighs> yeah. But then the structure was kind of bad. Some of the characters aren't great. Overall, this update was quite tiresome uh it got really bad at the end i i i just wasn't that excited for it throughout it to be honest yeah i think overall i'm, I'm still gonna conclude that all these acts anyway they're pretty bad obviously the content list is coming out soon or tomorrow probably i don't know uh, and then i'll go into detail in terms of my overall opinions on this on each item and on the event but yeah tell me your thoughts on act three and four and i guess i'll see you in the next one goodbye